giving your offers, make sure you know how to do it. You know how to handle your offers. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with TXP Realty. Today in this video, if you are a home seller or if you are planning to sell your property anytime soon and you don't know how to handle some negotiation because negotiation is very important, especially if you are selling a property. Not just about selling property. When you're selling anything, if you cannot negotiate, you are probably losing some money in your property or whatever you want to sell. So if this is you, make sure to watch this video from this start till the end so that you will understand how to negotiate or maybe you will learn something how to negotiate and you will get your property sold on the price that you want to sell and also faster or quicker sale all right but before i start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so and the most important you know that smash that like button for me and share this video to all your family and friends because you know why sharing is scary so without further ado let's jump into it so what i'm going to tell you in this video is I'm gonna show you like a multiple strategies and also what you need to do in points or bullet points so that when you are ready to sell your property you know what you need to do so number one is like negotiation you need to think about how to negotiate about some stuff okay you cannot be say yes all the time to the buyer or to the one who wants to buy your property why because you are the seller you are controlling the sale of property not the buyer right unless that you really want to sell your property for some reason you know you can just accept what will be the first offer giving to your property however you need to learn about what kind of negotiation that you do i'll give you one example for example if your property has some problem like let's say one of the door in the main bathroom is broken so they can negotiate about that one you can also negotiate on that one you can say like i can replace this and you know as long as you put this asking price that I want to sell to my property. I hope that makes sense. That's the number one negotiation that you do in terms of selling your property. That's the number one. Number two is setting your goals. You need to think about what would you get or what goals that you want to get once you sold this property or before you're selling this property. I'll give you four W's that you need to remember when or before you're selling your property. Number one W that you need to know is when would you like to sell your property, okay? You need to think about like, do you want to sell your property within 30 days? 60 days 90 days or within six months or a year okay you need to set a goal because if you don't know when would you like to sell your property it will be hard for you to distinguish like when somebody wants to buy your property and move in in 30 days and you're not ready what would you do because you don't have a goal okay remember that one the second w is what what are you selling what kind of property are you selling we have different kind of property single family house townhouse condominium multifamily duplex mobile home what kind of property that you're selling and make sure that you know what you're selling because if you don't know what you're selling and you put like for example a single family however your property is a townhouse that could be a big problem okay you need to know what kind of property you're selling it's part of your setting your goal number three why are you selling your property you need to have a motivation that why you're selling this property let's say for example that you want to move from point a to point b because of job relocation or worker location or something happened in your life that you need to move quickly within 30 days or as soon as possible or within 60 days why are you selling your property you need to think about that one because sometimes when you put your property out there for sale so when a home buyer come to your property and they say oh this is I want to pay for your property and then you will think about the offer why say like why they just only giving me this however if you have a why and then you will think oh I have to go within this certain amount of time because I have to move for some reason, okay? That's why you have the why, which is part of your setting your goal. Number four, last W, okay? Remember last W, where would you like to go or where would you like to move once you sold your property, okay? Because once you sold your property and you don't know where to go, why are you selling your property in the first place? So you need to 
distinguish like once you sold this property what would you like to do or where would you like to move because if you don't have any idea and then once your property is sold you will be homeless you don't want to be homeless do you so remember that four w's and which is part of your setting your goal so let's go to my number three which is the pricing strategy so what is the pricing strategy this is very crucial i always talk about this if you are selling your property make sure that you if you're going to sell your property you have a good pricing strategies what most people do what i see on the market when they sell selling their property they put their property price way too high which is like people will think wow you know as a home buyer they will think oh this property is selling for four hundred thousand dollars for example okay and then when you put your property for four hundred fifty thousand dollars make sure your property looks like four hundred fifty thousand dollars and also not just about inside of the property also outside the property the location because you need to think about like what you are selling your property okay? you are selling your property for somebody who wants to live in your property and you are selling a big amount of money or you know big amount of deal that you are going transact so make sure that you have a good pricing strategy either what you can do is put your property in correct pricing or just below market value like little bit market value let's say for example your price of your property is four hundred thousand dollars put $400,000 or you can put like $309,000 which is $10,000 below asking price and then you will have more chance that you will sell this property quicker okay why because people think as a home buyer they will think like oh this property is selling like this amount of price and then what they will think in their mind is like I want to see this property and another buyer wants to see this property because you know they searching don't think about as a seller like oh my property is this amount of money so think about it like when you are selling this property make sure either the right price or just below market value if you want to sell your property just a little bit below market value you will have a chance to sold your property quicker because there's a lot of people that who wants to see this property or if it's in market value you have a chance that you're gonna get your property sold on time however if you're gonna put like way too high you might have a chance or you might not have a chance to sell your property what you're gonna do is like if no one's looking at your property and you're not selling it you're gonna put down like 10,000 below from 450 you come to 410 another 10,000 again another 10,000 and it's become like four months five months six months in the market and your property is still there you're not selling your property because it's way too high okay so remember that pricing strategy this is very crucial and very important as well so let's go to my next one which is the number four is staging and presentation okay so make sure you're gonna stage your property and you make sure that if you're selling to all buyers for example as I said earlier if you're selling your property for four hundred thousand dollars make sure that your property not just outside looks like four hundred thousand make sure inside as well looks like four hundred thousand property however if you are putting your property for four hundred thousand and inside of your property is full of trash smells like a rat have a hole everywhere one of the room has like different colors like have orange there yellow there blue here you know and the light bulb is not working and and there's no AC how could you sell your property for a hundred thousand something like that so you need to stage your property as like people who wants to go there and just move in with having no doubt that they're giving you four hundred thousand for your property okay this is very important because otherwise if you don't know how to stage your property or at least when somebody wants to take your fee picture or video in your property you're not gonna sell your property like to the price that you want to sell or so why because people think like this is not worth of 400,000 I'm sorry but that's how it will go so make sure that you know what you need to do before selling your property okay make sure you clean your property make sure it looks good it smells good everything works all the light bulbs working the AC is working you know make sure that once somebody go there they won't think about like oh I don't have to repair this I have to I don't have to do this you know because they will cost some money what's the point of going in your property or buying your property if they're gonna cost them money okay remember that one so last one and but not the least is like the market research and handling offers okay remember this too this is very important as well market research as i said earlier you need to make sure that you're gonna price your property on point how by doing or researching in your area or having a cma if you don't know about the cma this is the current market analysis which the real estate agent or like me a realtor 
mentor who could help you or give you some market research that your neighborhood is selling about 400,000 property around you so that you can put your property for 400,000. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And I said, as I said, last one, but not the least, which is the bonus one is handling offers. Okay, so when somebody is like giving you offers, make sure you know how to do it, you know how to handle your offers. For example, somebody wants to go to your property and they want to buy your property cash. And then there's another home buyer that who wants to buy your property in financing, like for example, FHA loan or conventional loan. So which would you choose? You need to handle that offers and make sure that you're going to pick which is suit for you or best or high offer. Sometimes it's not about the best and high offer. Sometimes like it's better to take the cash offer for 400000 even though that the other one is giving you a four hundred five or four hundred ten thousand dollars because like when you have like a cash offer sometimes you don't have to deal with any financing like for example like in 30 days after you get all this financing and the buyer fell through their financing so you need to put your property back again in the market and you need to do the full process again okay so you need to make sure that you can handle all offers so i hope that makes sense that's the video for today i hope this video makes sense i know this video is too long i'm sorry about that but you stay in this video until this end comment down below home sellers so i can see how many people who watch this video until this end and appreciate your time watching my video and i hope this is helpful and useful if you have any more question or if you need help selling your property you know where to find me i'm located in central florida call me text me email me and i'll be happy to help you out till next time i'll see you on my next video Bye.